Hi guys, my name is Ryan, the Frugal Analyst, and in this video, I'll share with you my personal Lending Club investor performance and share with you the performance trends that I'm seeing in the Lending Club platform. So Lending Club, in a nutshell, is a platform where you can invest as little as $25 in unsecured personal loan. Now these loans are either three year or five year. Uh, they have no guarantees and they have a pretty high interest rates. Uh, personally, I tried peer-to-peer -peer lending back in 2007 and I really got serious about investing in this platform in 2012. To date, I've invested over $500,000 worth of notes and I have three accounts. I have a regular uh, traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. In this video, I'll share with you my personal Lending Club performance and the performance trends that I'm seeing. So here are my returns from my three accounts. So on average, I'm getting around 6% return. And that's, that's not bad. That's higher than the risk-free rate, but it's not super crazy like the equity market. So when investing in Lending Club, the performance is a lot more stable. And you have to really treat it like a fixed income investment, uh, which is you have limited gain, but also uh, your losses are also limited. Even if default rates were uh, to jump slightly, uh, you're still going to make some money in this platform. Now, just looking at my, my return, it is around 6% in all three of my accounts. Uh, I invested in uh, over 12,000 different notes. My average investment per note is slightly less than $50 per note. Looking at my portfolio composition, I do have loans from both uh, 36 month and 60 month or three year, five year. Uh, I concentrate a lot of my holdings in grade B to D uh, in both 36 month and 60 month loans. Uh, grade A gives too low of a return and also grade E and above, basically I'm seeing way too much defaults in, in, that, in those segment and my exposure there is more of a test, but uh, I would not put any more money in uh, grade E and above. So speaking about performance, let's dive in to uh, the performance between the different grades. So here is a chart. I looked at the loans that, that were issued in 2017 and their annualized return by grade and term. Here we can see that great E and above, the return is really low and FNGs is really giving negative returns. Uh, the best return for 36 months seems to be in grade B and the best return for 60 months seems to be in grade C. So uh, if you're ever considering investing in this platform, I would highly recommend avoiding grade E and above. I'll try to stick with grade B for 36 months and grade B and C for 60 months loans. The next thing I wanna show you is the performance trend over time. So here in this chart, in the X axis, you have the issued vintage. So when the loan was issued and we have the annualized return in the Y axis. To keep it simple, uh, this chart is only for the 36 month grade C and the pattern applies to the other grades and term as well. And that pattern is basically in 2015, 2016, the performance really tanked to as low as 3%. And 3% is really low because uh, that is just too close to the risk-free rates that uh, we can get by investing in CDs or in the uh, money market accounts or the government treasuries. So in this chart uh, also shows that back in 2012, 2013, the performance is really good in the platform. You know, it hits a high of around 9%, but it did drop to around 3%, even in good times. And good times, I mean, hey, stock market is, uh, is doing pretty well. And also the credit cycle hasn't really hit for uh, unsecured loans. Uh, I'll explain that later. But here in this chart, uh, it is kind of scary to see that 2015, 2016 hit a low of around 3%. Data in 2017 seems to be better. Data in 2018, it's still early. So uh, we need to give it at least 15 months for the performance to mature. Uh, because in the first, let's say six months, the borrower can just use the money they got from the loan to really pay off the monthly payment. So we don't really see any defaults till month probably six to 12. 
So I, so I would say 2018 data is still early. Uh, we have to give it at least a few more quarters for me to believe the performance data. Right now, you know, I put it as uh, nine to 11 percent for the uh, last two quarter of 2018 but those data is just early they'll, they'll come down as we see more defaults in the portfolio the next performance trend i want to show you is the difference between the 36 month and the 60 month term so here uh, just taking with grade c looking at 36 month and 60 month loans we can see that 60 month loans on uh, in general uh, gives you slightly better return. I would say maybe around one to two percent. You are taking a longer maturity risk. Uh, you could see here that the dip in 2015 and 2016, it happened to the 16 month loans as well, but the biggest impact is probably in the 36 month loans. Now there are more performance trends that I wanna share with you, but I don't wanna bore you with this video. So at the bottom of this video, I put a link to my spreadsheet where you can download the Excel spreadsheet with the performance by term, grade, and also issue vintage. In this table, you could see just when uh, the performance is really high and when it dips and also where it's at today. Uh, this data is up to April of 2019, and it's really derived uh, using the cash flow data that's available publicly. I'll put a link down below in my video if you guys want to download that raw data as well from Lending Club. Uh, but hopefully uh, this video can help you see the return between the different grades. And if you're interested in uh, investing in Lending Club platform, you should definitely focus on where the returns have trended at a high level in the platform and uh, place your money in the buckets that gives a better return than others. Now the key question that I get is, am I still reinvesting in Lending Club? And the answer is no. So I still have some money in the platform, but I'm not putting money back into new notes. And the reason is really that 2015, 2016 dip in performance, I just don't know how much uh, performance lending club can improve for the investor because there is a lot more competition today and if i look at the credit cycle just looking at the fed data on uh, default rates for let's say credit cards the cycle hasn't really uh, gone the other way and i'm expecting that at some point there will be another credit cycle and defaults will increase and if defaults increase there is a chance that uh, i can lose money in investing in these notes because they're not guaranteed. So that's my take and I'll keep revisiting uh, Lending Club if the performance do improve and if things get better, maybe I'll jump back in, who knows. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or uh, want me to share my strategy for picking loans, please comment uh, in the video. Uh, I hope this video helps you decide about investing in the Lending Club platform. Uh, let me know if this video is helpful so I can make more of these types of videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.